All right, so we're gonna talk about our menu buttons, which are these four buttons underneath the control knob and the navigation buttons. So first one is home. Home is the button that will always bring you back to your home screen. You got it, which is this screen here. So it's got the name of the preset. This one's Edge of Gaga. I wonder what song that's about. Uh, the preset number and the genre category that this one is saved under, which is pop. It'll also tell you if it's a favorite or not. So currently not a favorite. If I want to make it a favorite, I just press that control knob and then fave shows up in the corner here and now it's saved to your favorites folder. Next button we have is mix. You press that and that's gonna bring you into uh, the area where you can adjust all of your levels for the different inputs. So the first one is guitar. You just use that control knob to adjust your level higher or lower. Second one is guitar reverb, again, higher or lower. Aux and keys, higher, lower. You got your looper, I think you understand, higher or lower. If you hold down the mix button, you get up into your uh, setup menu. So the first one that will show up uh, is your mic type. So dynamic mic, most microphones I would say are dynamic mics. They're your like live stage mics. Um, the MP75 that we have here is a dynamic mic. The next category is, uh, whoops. Condenser. Condensers typically are more of a studio mic, but people definitely use them in a live setting as well. MP75 in the menu, it's because it's so smart. So we have a dynamic MP75. So you're gonna actually use the MP75 category as opposed to the dynamic one. Next is the Sennheiser E835FX. We partnered up with them a number of years ago and got this mic, the ability to have mic control in it. So if you have one of those, this is the, the category, the um, setting for that. And then we have an MP76 setting, which is kind of the next mic up from this. Uh, same quality of sound, it's just that there's more buttons that you can choose from. So we're gonna leave that on MP75. And then the next uh, category is tone style. So we have something called adaptive tone in all of our products, more or less. I think they're in all of them. And basically we got the sound guy or sound woman and we shrunk them down this big and we like jam them into our products. And what adaptive tone does is it really um, deals with all of your EQing, your compression, has some gating um, and DSing so that you sound really great. And Sync Thing has several different styles, uh, tone styles in there. Uh, so you can have it off if you don't want it or normal and then there's several different styles you can choose from. I'm not gonna demonstrate them for you because it really depends on your voice. So what you wanna do is when you get the sync thing is just try them all out and see what works best for you. Um, I have a lower voice so sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of brightness put on it because I tend to sing really deep down in my throat. Uh, next up, global pitch correction. I have that at 5%, no shame. If I do a gig for three hours, by the end of the night, it's like one o'clock in the morning and my, my I get a bit tired. I get a little vocal fatigue. So it's nice to have just a little bit of support to help me reach those notes and uh, not be worried about it. Uh, so body res is the next one. And that's for the guitar. It's not for your body, it's for the guitar's body. And uh, basically, a few years ago, we collaborated with TC Electronic, our sister company, and we created this guitar effect that makes your acoustic guitar sound like an acoustic guitar again, which is amazing, because it's something that I've personally struggled with. You plug in this beautiful, resonant sounding acoustic guitar, and it kind of falls flat and sounds tinny and, and not like that beautiful um, organic sound that it, it normally has. So we've got several different styles of body res uh, in the same thing, 10 in fact, so you can try it out with your guitar. Again, like your voice guitars, they all sound different, so you wanna try it out and see what works best for you. Next is your loop input. So this is what uh, instrument or which audio source will be looping. So there's vocal, guitar, auxiliary, vocal and guitar, guitar and aux, or everything that you have plugged in. So depending on the song, you might wanna change that, uh, but that's all in that menu there. And then the, your LCD contrast, so you can turn it low or you can turn it up really high. I have it right now at about four. Global key, so for the harmonies to work, you need to tell the sync thing uh, what key the song is in that you're playing. So uh, 
If for some reason, every single song on your set is in the key of C, you can change your global key uh, to C. Same thing with global tempo, that's the next one. If every song that you're playing is at you know, 120 beats per minute, you can adjust that and have a global tempo. Bass extend, who doesn't want more bass? Unless you're all about that treble, but you can also extend your bass and have a bigger sound uh, by putting that on or off. And then your guitar tuner, which is fantastic. Here's a little hack. If you always want the guitar tuner to be brought up, say you just played a song and now your guitar's out of tune, you gotta tune it again, uh, you can leave it on that screen when you hit the home button. When you hit mix and hold it down again, it's gonna go straight to the guitar tuner, the last one that you left uh, from the mix setup menu. And then the very last screen uh, just tells you what firmware version you're on, uh, your serial number, and the manufacture date of your sing thing. So again, I'm gonna leave it on the guitar tuner and then hit home to go back to the home screen. So the next thing you can do is you can save any preset um, editing that you've done, or if you've created your own preset, you can, you can save that as well. So that's the store button. So you press that, you can change the title. So say you like love the Edge of Gaga preset, but you wanna save it to, um, you wanna use it for a song that you've written called Hi. Maybe the, the song's gonna be called Hi, cause that's nice and easy. So you can use the genre button. It's gonna change this bar up to the letter bar and then you can use the control knob to toggle through the different letters. So I'm gonna say H, navigation button brings it over, and I'm gonna go high, and then these I will just zero by bringing it past the A. And we are almost there. Okay, so now we've got the name of its uh, high, the name of the song is high. Hit genre goes back to the store two, and then this is preset number 11. I have a bunch of blank presets in here past 235. So I wanna save this to 235. So I scroll through these numbers. And I'm at 235, I'm gonna change it, store it to 236. And all I have to do is hit the store button again, and that saves it. So now the name of the preset is for my song called Hi. It's number saved in number 236 slot. It's a favorite and it's from the pop genre. And if those aren't enough, you can go onto voice support and find even more presets and load them into your sing thing. So you hit genre and you can use the navigation buttons to scroll through the different uh, genres. So we got pop and rock and alternative and country. And then we've got like um, doubling and reverb. We go into effects, harmony, hard tune, megaphone, and there's like, character ones and extreme ones. Um, so I've saved a few that I like. I put them into my favorite. So I'm just gonna go to my favorites folder here and hit the uh, genre button and then that'll take me to the favorite screen. So I'm gonna show you a couple of these. This is uh, uh, Believe by Cher. Do you believe in life after love? So you can see there's some delay on there, or echo as we call it, and some hard tuning. And that's that effect that they use in that classic song. And then I have this is a gorgeous hall tune. So beautiful, beautiful reverb and delay. Ooh. And this is very what? Hey baby, how you doing? And this is a doubling one. Hey, hey. That just thickens out that voice and gives it that real pop vocal sound. So there you go, genres, lots to choose from. Definitely play around and see which ones you love and make those your favorites for your sets.